Hello everyone, and welcome to this AstroPy tutorial. My name is Micah, and in this video, we will be going over handling and viewing FITS image files using Jupyter Notebooks. This is the first in a series of videos where we will learn how to use Python and AstroPy to handle raw space telescope data and perform aperture photometry. For this tutorial, you will need to install Visual Studio Code and Python. You'll need at least version 3.8 of Python, but I recommend installing the latest stable version. At the time of this recording, that's Python 3.11. Now these programs are available for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, and I'll include links to their download pages in the description. Finally, you will need to find a FITS file to work with. Once you get all that done, go ahead and open up Visual Studio Code on your computer. Then, go over to the left, here where it says Extensions, click on that, and you're going to want to install the Jupyter Notebook extension, and the Python extension, this one right here. Once those are installed, you can go ahead and close that. And then we're going to open up a terminal. Click New Terminal there. And you're going to uh, type in a few codes. So the first thing you're going to do is pip pip install ipy kernel. And that'll install the Python kernel for us, which allows us to compile and run our code. Then you're going to do pip install AstroPy. And finally, pip install numpy. Okay. We now have all the packages that we need to start coding. So go over to your explorer, and you'll want to make sure that your uh, current directory, your fo uh, working folder, is open to where you have your FITS image file. Um, which in my case is this file right here, ngc1261.fits. Then once you do that, go ahead and click final, File, and do New File, and select Jupyter Notebook. So the first thing I'm going to do is save this, and we'll just call it uh, FITS Files. And now we have our Jupyter Notebook, and we can begin coding. So the way Jupyter Notebook works is we have these different blocks of code, and we can just run these blocks individually. So it's just a really uh, easy way to run and debug Python. So to begin coding, the first thing I'm going to do is import from astropy.io import fits. And this will give us our fits file tools. So then to open our fits file, we'll do fits file equals fits.open and then the name of our FITS file, ngc1261.fits. Now let's go ahead and print that to see what it looks like. All right, so we have this list here with a single item in it, and that's not very useful. So what we can do now is go up here and change this. So our FITS file, um, sorry, we'll go into our next block of code and now we want to get our image data so we'll make a variable called image data and set that equal to fits file zero dot data and it adds that random uh, underscore right there we don't want that i don't know why it does that but just make sure you delete that or else your code won't work now let's print that okay so now we have a rather long list with a bunch of numbers. And basically what this is, it's it's every pixel in our FITS image, um, and it's assigned a value of uh, brightness. So now that we have our data, what we can do is use matplotlib to view that as an actual image. So let's do import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And then what we'll do is type plt.figure, don't forget those open close parentheses, plt.imshow, and then we'll do image data origin equals, and then quotes, lower. And then we'll also want to plot a color bar. And then you'll type plt.show and also we'll need those open close parentheses after color bar. So 
This one will take a little while to run. On my computer, it'll take about 30 seconds, so I'll just skip ahead till that finishes running. But don't be, don't be concerned if this takes a while to run. Okay, so I lied. That only took 4.8 seconds. But um, here we have this image right here, and it doesn't look like much. It's kind of hard to tell what's going on here. Um, so we're going to do a few things to fix that. So the first thing we can do is we'll go up here and we'll import um, from matplotlib.colors import log norm. And this will allow us to display our image with a logarithmic fit, which basically just allows us to see the dimmer stars. So you import log norm, and then right in here in our plot.imshow command, we'll add a comma, and then another item, we'll do norm equals log norm, open close parentheses. So if we run this again, okay, that time it did take over 30 seconds. But we can see here that we can see a lot more going on. Um, now, there are some funky colors going here. So another thing we can do, just to make it a little easier to look at, is we can do, let me add another comma here, cmap equals grays. Make sure you spell gray with an E. And if we run this again, and I'll fast forward till it finishes. All right. And now we see that everything is in black and white. And that makes, a little, that makes it a little bit easier to um, see what's going on. We can see clearly where there are stars and where there's not. And we can see where there's more densely packed stars. So this is still, though, a lot to take in at once. It, it is still very small. And so we can't really see super well what's going on. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to define a smaller section of this so that we don't have to deal with the whole thing at once. So I'm going to go ahead and create another block of code. And we're going to create a variable called section1. And section1 is going to equal image data. And then we're going to define x and y coordinates of this data. Now the confusing thing that you'll have to get is that you define the y coordinates first and then the x coordinates. So I picked out some coordinates that I want to look at first. So what we'll do for our y values, we're going to go 2250 and then do a colon to 2650. So this means that we're going to be looking at the pixels on the y coordinate, this one here, from 2250 to 2650. Then do comma, and we're gonna define our x coordinates, which will be 3350 to 5950. So we can take this code right here, and I'll just copy this over. But right here where it says image data, we're going to change that to section one. So now this should, uh, this should be a lot quicker to run because it's not trying to create this entire image. It's just trying to create, trying to create a much smaller image. So if we click play right there, it took 0.4 seconds and we have this nice little uh, piece of sky to work with. You see we have a couple bright stars here and then a bunch of dimmer stars. All right, well, that about wraps up our video. This has been an introduction to FITS file handling. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope you were able to follow what was going on here. Um, well, please remember to like and subscribe, and join us next time where we will go over the photutils.detection package.